here we go. So, um, you know, we're just going to play some 9x9. Nine nine. Um, ranked, because... Um, is 10 minutes too much or too little? I remember being really pressed for time in my earlier games, so maybe we start... Um, five periods seems like quite a bit. is a lot of time if I'm understanding. Hello. <laughs> you can pick 4 minutes 30 seconds as starting time. How about that? Um, I know I'm going to be missing all sorts of things. Hmm. This should probably be okay, but I'm just worried that opponents will be concerned. Um, about how much time we consume. Um, Ten minutes is probably fine. So, here we are, awaiting an opponent. Okay, I go first. Um, sure. How do I dismiss all these? Oh, cool. We're playing against To Yong Yang. Do people find these coordinates distracting? And if so, how do I disable them? Um, all right. I want to play somewhere that. Um, something like this, maybe? I want to exert some influence and strength and stuff um, without inviting him in too close. Yeah, let's take this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, and 22Q. I have been doing some life and death puzzles, but, um, yeah. Okay, should be able to remove them from the right bar. Oh, this stuff. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been here. Toggle coordinates. Perhaps people find that a lot easier to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Uh, let me just make sure I understand the coordinates, though. Okay, so the ranks are still the same as chess, and the columns are the same as chess, except this is J at the end. Okay. Uh, let's toggle that off altogether. Uh, full screen this. I've confused my opponent. Right. Oh, you all don't know the coordinate system? Um, you sunk my battleship, but yeah, hmm. I suppose I could have them on and at least uh, like this. This is probably the best compromise, although I was able to rotate these. No, this is how a... I've seen lectures. I've seen at least a lecture board. And I know that this is where they are used to seeing the coordinates. On a chessboard, you're used to seeing them on left and on bottom. Um, but on a shogi board, I'm sorry, on a go board, you're used to seeing them here. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, on a chessboard, you know where everything's at. Um, so I don't know what's the deal with this particular game. Um, 
Either my extremely spectacular play has spooked my opponent, or um, something came up and they had to go. I'm wagering that they're not thinking, but I do not know for sure. Also, let's see, are they a US player or do we know where they're, okay, unspecified. So I have no context as to like the hour or day or what could have happened that could potentially be distracting them. Maybe for all I know they are, yeah, okay. They've been thinking this whole time. Um, this gives me things to think about too. So I could cut on f6. Um, cut is kind of a strange word to use there, but um, I could also play at f4, where I'm starting to surround myself. Um, it's a lot easier to think when it's your turn, at least defensively. Although black should be attacking, not defending. Um, yeah, I think I and L would be too similar, and I and J would be too similar. Uh, on a larger board, you don't have both I and J. So it makes sense to use J. I have no problem with that. Um, F6 does seem a bit slow. Um... g6 is interesting g5 is interesting um hmm. i'm i'm still tempted to stay inside that center five by five box uh until i've been kicked out of it but we're playing a very territorial game apparently F6 is the only move. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it does strengthen, um, you could call F7 a group. Um, it does prevent white from connecting on F6. And basically I've just been looking at, oh, I could place my stone just about anywhere. Oh, no matter what I do, white plays on like D6 or F6. Um, so f6 seems to make a lot of sense but it also seems really slow um, just I don't know but maybe this will help give me life up here somehow later um, I mean it seems weird that my guys have gotten disconnected and f6 is the fighting move here so let's fight okay um so as predicted white goes d6 uh i don't think i have enough influence to kill this um could do c6 to just well at this point I'm starting to get surrounded there too you don't want to like abandon your weakest group I don't want to give the whole corner to white either um, yeah okay that makes sense so now I also have two groups and I don't want to like let my weakest group that's attacked by two groups just go. Um, and d5 is the fighting move here, but um, I'm kind of pushing white toward the corner, which has pros and cons. Um, if I do this, this will help me, this influence will help me build over there later. Yeah, <laughs> I I mean, I've seen chess players, chess beginners, um, uh, their way of thinking is quite entertaining to me. 
And so uh, I'm sure that everything I'm saying makes absolutely the craziest of sense. I don't want to let the stone go. I'm really... Like in the chess world, I'm the person who's taking the pieces. And the idea of giving away a piece sounds completely abs just bizarre. Um, uh, I mean, we could just build here. We could put a stone over here, see what happens. That could be fun. I mean, that way I'm kind of controlling stuff maybe I don't know if I do let him if the okay I guess the key point is not so much the stone itself but if white controls all this like if he kills this somehow or surrounds it he's gonna get to build up uh, strength in here I don't want to encourage that I don't know if I need to connect here or if I can do this kind of connection uh, if I do this he splits me I don't know. This seems like the reasonable thing to do, I just don't know why. And I'm attempting to explain things, but... Uh, White well, can't actually capture it. Well, that's actually worth knowing. So, I'm gonna get myself in trouble by doing this, because I just want to understand what happens if I do this. Um, Yes, 3Q is much, much, much stronger than 22Q. Um, okay, so I cut you here, and everything I've played dies. It's basically what's going to happen. Well, if I go there, he probably goes here, and I'm probably super dead. Um, maybe I need to, I don't know what to do here. I could play there, I could play here, I could play there, here. Anything's legal. Uh, this seems unwise because he cuts me here and I'm just super dead. Um, I could, mm, I could play there, force him to connect. I don't want him to connect. But if I play here, he's going to play there and eventually connect anyhow. Um, hmm. Oh, there he goes here. Yeah, I don't get it. If I go here, at least I'm reducing this corner space, but... Um, I want to see how this plays out. This kind of shape seems pretty weak because it has a defect right there. Um, but I don't understand why that's such a big deal. Maybe I just need to move up to like a 13 by 13 board. Um, get better at that and then we could play some more fighting stuff on the 9 by 9 board. Really, anything could happen here. Um, oh, I guess he could play d7, too. And then... I mean, he's... I don't know. I actually find the deep zen thing, uh, that contest, more interesting. Uh, so they have a 44-core computer playing against uh, Cho Chikun, uh, Nine Don Professional. Um, so the only reason I can speak with any competency about that sort of thing is because I'm an AI enthusiast of sorts. And okay, I don't understand Go that well, but um, it's still exciting to see. Um, people try to come up with new algorithms and new strategies to have computers accomplish tasks um, better.
better. Um, really don't know what that's about. Like, um, it's uncommon for me to see players put their stones on the edge of the board like that. Um, so I assume I just play this, and this whole bottom left corner is my box. Unless I have better. Um, well, let's do it. Yeah, well, there's actually um, some open source AIs out there. I don't think that AlphaGo itself would be very sc scalable. Um, just because it was designed for a computer that has 1,000 cores. And most consumers don't have that kind of computing power. Um, let's see, do I actually make the empty triangle? Um, it fixes the defect, but I'm surrounded. Um, or I could say, you know what? Take my two stones, take the corner, I'll take the rest of the board. That's an option too. Fixing the defect seems somewhat reasonable, because then white has to completely surround me to get that. Um, he needs two eyes to live. Let's fix the defect and see what happens. It's not an empty triangle, it's a full triangle. Okay, if you say so. I, 22Q that I am, I don't understand the difference. <laughs> um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seriously? Um, I must be miscalculating something, because this looks really cool. Uh, one, two, three, four liberties. I've got four liberties. If I do this, he can't connect. Okay. One, two, three liberties. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, How do I run? Five, four, three, two, one. How do I run? How oh how do I run here so he doesn't kill me? Um I'm gonna just build out here, right? That's an additional liberty or two or whatever. I think F8 was correct. Um, oh, hang on, this, this guy's got a liberty issue. Liberty shortage is the word. Um, he's cutting me all over the place now, because I have tons of groups. Um, <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, okay. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're in another Bio Um I appear to be in trouble. Or at least not killing the group. Um I'm I'm not understanding the best way to get out of this at all. <laughs> I can still kill it? What? What is this? I apologize. Um, I see that 
Like, this has two liberties. This up here seems safe enough. This has two liberties. This this is what I was most worried about getting killed. Um, yeah. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I assume it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, white definitely looks very alive there. Um, Yeah, no, I'm sorry, you're right. He is immortal there. I can't do anything about that. So, let's proceed to walk into another trap somehow. Yeah, uh, well, I have been doing a number of many, many life and death puzzles, problems. Um, so... I'm starting to appreciate that liberties actually are somewhat important. Um, yeah. So, okay, yeah, his group lives. He's got, like, two territory. Uh, so good for him. Okay, I could Atari. could Atari this way, which is silly, because it cuts me all over. Um... At least it looks silly. Yeah, no, it is silly. Don't do that. Do this. Black is still ahead. Okay, cool. I consider this dead. Um, so... Uh, where do I go next? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This is probably too solid. I'm probably doing something I don't need to be doing there. Um... As long as I don't get capped here, I should be okay. Um, yeah, that's the time to count liberties. Um, not the time to panic. Um, Panicking is not a good strategy. Hmm. Ten, nine, Many eight, possibilities. Seven. Many possibilities. I'm not killing this, am I? Maybe. Let's find out. You know, if I force him to connect. Hmm. Let's find out where this goes. My thinking is that I'm forcing him to connect his groups um, and that he doesn't have eye space here.
right, I was worried about this. Thought I could answer this with that though, so I'm not sure where we're going. Oh man. You know that the post mortem of this game is just going to be insane. <laughs> um, so many things were done incorrectly this game. So if I go there. I'm super confused. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Not sure why I picked that. Why to live as a sume go? Hmm. Probably. <laughs> Does it count as a sume go if you can't kill it? Ooh, that's it's a really deep philosophical question. Um, uh, my opponent is probably quite ticked off at the way I'm playing, to be honest. Either, yeah. I, um, if I had to guess, I was probably winning the whole time somehow. Winning is a strong term, but he's probably confused, like, why am I playing moves like J3 and equally missing so many opportunities all over the place, no? I mean, okay, I spotted this. I saw that, hey, look, I can kill these five stones and take all this territory. But, my goodness, there were so many tactics going on in this game. So many times I failed to count, like, capture races and stuff properly. Um, that, yeah. Not just capture races, but just liberties in general. I could have lived after J3, but he failed to. Um, so then the question is, uh, okay, so after J3, yeah, I mean, he went after this. And for some reason, I decided, hey, two stones, it's really important to kill those two. Um not so important to deal with this although i'm not sure that i'm not sure that he's dead after this like one okay so in some sense these two liberties are shared by this stone and this stone um so i'm not sure how to count liberties in this kind of situation um I would have expected white to play h3. If white replaced j4, doesn't he live? Um, so I was thinking j4. Uh, oh, I can't do that, can I? At least it's not useful to do that. Doesn't he live? Um, Mm -hmm. There's really nothing I can do about this stone, is there? So, question is, once he's managed to capture this, or he doesn't need to, but once he's managed to at least get some eye somewhere in the vicinity, uh, can he live? Yeah. And so he's got to do something to attempt to live here.
I don't get it. I mean, yeah, this does not look very living. Um, does not look very alive, rather. So, after J3, J2. Okay. So now, there's some potential for an eye here, some potential for an eye in the corner. And if I do this, potential for an eye this way, I guess. Um... Might even be able to play f1 instead of g1. Yeah, g1 might be unnecessary. Yeah, so. There's no way I can kill it. That's sad. Do I even have ways to do throw-ins and stuff to make this work? No, not really. Now this group is creating an eye down here, and there is an eye over here, so he's alive. Uh, it's that simple. Um, so this is a tricky move, but not a sound one at all. Try J5. Okay. Um, so we do this, right? Oh, that's uh, self-Atari. Um, can't do that. So you have to do this, but you can't do that either. Um, hmm. How does white counter this? Um, okay, so we're saying we can do uh, H3. So my next thought here is J6 is aiming to play J4 or play something in the corner to try to prevent white from getting the corner, but I mean white's got something here. I can't stop both g1 and h1 at the same time. I can't just like place a stone halfway between these two intersections. As useful as that might be. Um, so what do I do? So I rejected this um, on account of something like this. Oh, but white plays here. So white still has an eye over here, too. Um, so I'm not doing a throw in there for sure. Uh, so this and white's still alive and yeah he's got three points of territory actually two points so uh, yeah Before H7 Tanuki. Um, oh, can I look after this in the game? So let's go back to the game. Um, after the H7. Okay. Um, oh, I completely... <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, I didn't even see that H7 was a serious threat. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Holy moly. <laughs> you know, if I just, like, play some random stone somewhere over here, you just, like, place that, and I'm like, oh, that's just GG. But no. Um, 
Okay. Before h7, um, play h3 for white. Okay. Uh, it's a good thing it didn't come to that. Uh, try it out. All right, so white's got one big ol' eye over here. Um, I've got three liberties, but I'm sure I could extend that if I needed to or something. I'm not sure, actually. No, if I need more liberties, I just play f9. I'm fine. I'm not dead. Um, so... They say that whole bent four in a corner thing is a dead shape, right? So surely if I play that, this whole group is dead. Am I wrong? Um, is there something else I should be looking for? Asish. Hey, yeah, it's good to be back at it. Oh, oh, he knows it. Ha, ha. I can actually apply things when I'm told there's a puzzle. See, if you didn't tell me to go look at it and that there's something to find here. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I was kind of trying to allude to that earlier. Although, um, the other position, for some reason, that wasn't bent for in a corner when he connects here. But somehow here it is. Um, I think there was one fewer black stone around here. Oh, okay, so why is it dead and why is this not Seki? Um, well, okay, so I'm not sure where the pass button is, but black plays here, white kills it, and then bent four in a corner is a dead shape. I don't actually know, I don't remember all the variations to that. I should probably figure that out. Um, okay, so white does something like this. This is a dead shape on account of black playing something here. It's important to know what, but... Um, hmm... I want to say the corner point, but that seems... no. I mean, what? What do we do here? <laughs> I've honestly I've not been playing Go games very much, so I don't know if 22K is, 22Q is accurate. But um, is this the right way to play Bent Four in a Corner? Because I'm going to feel really do dumb saying this over and over, that that's a dead shape. And then I don't know, like, how to play it. Um, um, I don't know, go... Some friends picked up the game. It's a good game. Um, but also, just got burned out a little bit on chess and wanted to explore... The latest uh, games out there. Well, not that this is the latest game, but AIs are exploring this game, and you know, I have somewhat of a hobby interest in AI. <laughs> but okay, so point number one is like um, absolute worst case. If we just have no freaking idea what we're doing is black here. Just rinse and repeat. Just fill in all the black stones. White kills it again. Just do that over and over until finally white has only one liberty. And I mean that that's a total waste of stones. But um, but yeah, if white tries to approach this, he's just cutting in his own liberties, right? He needs two eyes to live, and he doesn't have two eyes as far as I can see, because. I mean, he needs this to have two eyes, where this is the one eye, this is the other, but then I just kill that. Um, but I'm not sure... Um, okay, say white gets another move, white's other move would be here. 
So is this point any better or any worse than that one? I think this is much worse because now white has two eyes and there's not even a fight. Um, so I think this is better uh, on J2. Uh, yeah, formally black needs to, but I mean, come on, it's dead. <laughs> uh, Oh. Wait, what? It's only dead right away in Japanese rules. If you don't play anything there, I'll use it in Seki. J1, J2, J1, H1, J3. Oh. Oh, that's messy now, isn't it? Um. <laughs> All right, but this is a kill here. But yeah, if I didn't have the point on J6, uh, that would be a different matter now, wouldn't it? Um, like if I'm missing this guy, I can't just play on J2 anymore. At least not to kill. I guess. I don't know. I'm a beginner. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm thankful that that tactic worked out the way it did in the game. That was pretty cool. Um, but... Only dead right away if you don't play anything there. Oh, yeah. So, I, I'm not sure how to interpret that. It's only you that can launch the co. So I play this. Um, oh, okay, okay. That makes some sense. Um, Obviously, it's the instant that white plays there, I'm forced to play here. And this is a ko. Um, but I'm the only one who can launch it. Because, um, yeah, the instant white plays there, I just play right here immediately. and uh, So white can't really play on J1. Now, this would be a... I suppose this would be a different matter if I didn't have the stone on J6. Um, I suppose if I'm lacking that J6 stone, at this point, um, J2 and H1 are both dead. Um, uh, but anyway, the way it turned out in the game was... White plays this ambitious move, and that's the thing, I'm just not sure, like, okay, so yeah, I guess we were just establishing that if white plays here, I just extend to the corner, and this is a dead shape. And not only can white not uh, Tanuki, but even if he tries to kill me, um, one, two, three... One, two... Oh, right, but I just play here. And now I suddenly have extra liberties to deal with. Um, so now one, two, three, four. So if white tries... further tries to kill me, I'm not sure how I'd even attempt to do that here, because... I mean, I can connect here, and then I have an eye up here, so... I guess I just lucked out, frankly. Um, see a white plays there. I played here. These five are dead. Um, and that was that. Yeah, this is a big... I would say it's a blunder, but 
I'm not sure how to evaluate the position before that. Um, what if I place here? I have to connect, don't I? That's okay. If I place there, I connect here. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. He, he needs more influence out here. Like, if he has this and, say, I just do something dumb, then we might get some fun stuff going. Um, even then, uh, I might not be dead. Uh, in fact, I don't have to play six. I can play it here. That wasn't very good, now was it? Well, maybe it was. Fun stuff. But why cut there when you can cut here instead? Um, I guess this isn't any better for white now, is it? Under Chinese rules, you need to play out the ko, but just wait till the end of the game and remove the ko threats, and then white loses the ko. I guess under Chinese rules, you'd also see a resignation earlier. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's tricky. Um, but yeah, apparently these two here, two there, two here, or three here, offer plenty of strength. And it's not so easy for white to cut this at all. That's a really strong shape. Um, so white wasn't so motivated, and I probably wouldn't have done this anyway. White was more motivated to go right there, and that's the game. Uh, oh, we're saying black's in trouble there. So say if we went into this silly variation, uh, this one, we're saying black's dead. If I ended up playing one wasted move over here, black's dead. I mean, these three over here do not look very alive at all. Um, but this here might be more dead than this. Wait, d2. Um, okay, it's just got... I can't do much to live here. Okay. That's actually a huge problem. Huh. Wow. So, yeah, black's losing the three stones and the territory that goes with it. White's losing the corner. Um, I don't know the overall evaluation, but black is dead here. Um... So that single wasted move could be disastrous. Um, I'm sure that if three here, uh, back here, that four there has got to be the best response because you don't want to give up, you don't want to let white connect everything and divide black up into tons of little pieces. So this still seems like the right thing to do, even if black's losing the corner. Um, but maybe that's the wrong way of looking at this. Um, maybe you do let these two go. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. There's a lot going on here. But I think if these two go, that these two are quickly going to follow. Um, so yeah, giving up the center could be disastrous. 
Yeah, as you're saying, those are called cutting stones, uh, just because they keep the, these away from those. Um, so it makes it more difficult for white to surround anything. Although white does still manage to kill these too, but, I mean, that's just two stones. Or you can make it even worse and like, just see how many stones you can lose. Um, things can get really bad really quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what black does here. Have to be careful about uh, the E4 group. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, what does black do now? Suppose that, okay, we've conceded these two stones are dead. Um, what's Black's way to approach this? Does he, like, just play here? Say, I'm gonna live up here, I've got some eyes, I've got some territory. You're not going any further. Um, or is there a... there's gotta be a stronger move. I like this eye, just because it gives Black some security, but he's got to have something more ambitious. Oh, Black just cries. Okay. That's cool. Oh, Black has only three liberties on this. One, two, three. And this is this is shared. This is shared with other groups. Black's in kind of trouble there. Um, so I guess you're kind of forced to go after this right away. Yeah. Before white has a chance to do anything too horrible to you, you have to get this taken care of. And, I mean, yeah, black cries. You should not have played this move, but... Um... Or, yeah, I'm... H3 is interesting. Oops, not there. Um, although there might be okay, too. That's probably a huge understatement. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a really good point. Um, before White gets too invested in this whole attack, you should try to connect his two groups and not die. Um... And this gives black some opportunity. Well, maybe white cuts here first. Um, black cuts there. I'm not sure which is bigger. Um, that's complicated from my point of view. Um, but yeah, this all started out of what if I just do something dumb and give white a free pass and um, things could get ugly. Although I should probably just kill this and it's not such a big deal. Yeah, protect then kill. Okay, so play this first. If I'm just being dumb and tossing moves away, um, it's important to do this. Um, And now this changes what's going on on the rest of the board, but um, yeah, black has some opportunity to solidify a little bit. Not sure what the best way to do that is. Maybe this. Hmm. I don't know. For h3, you need j1. Okay. Not sure how that helps. Or before black does J H3, he needs J1. I guess that makes some sense. Like this. Oops, I meant. Um, well, no, this doesn't help white. Um, but yeah, maybe we should just play another game because this is getting really beyond my ability to effectively communicate. Um, 
and it's just a really complicated position because there's so much going on. Uh, and I guess such is typical of 9 by 9 So if it's okay... Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get another game out there. That's what the fans want. It's kind of what I want at this point, too. Um, play. New game. 10 minute, 3 period. There we go. Yeah, I'm now starting to see um, just how crowded a 9x9 nine nine board can get. Here we go. Um, my move. Let's pass. Or not. Uh, okay, we're playing against a 12Q, guys. Anything can happen. But most of the things that happen are probably terrible. That's interesting. Five and a half, Comey. I guess that's... I think on a large board, six and a half is normal, Comey. But apparently on nine by nine, I requested five and a half. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, look. We got a Q. Go me. You know, if this guy's AFK, I don't fault him. Um, well, I'm not sure why he took the game request, but um, I've never seen anybody take this long in the first move. So either he's looking at my previous game and he's like, dude, what's this guy doing? Or um, somehow he just accidentally... Oh, okay. Um, sure. I want to extend somehow, somewhere, somewhen. Um, I mean, I could do anything, apparently. Uh, where do I want to go? Let's try there. Okay. If I play there, he cuts me. If I don't play there, I'm already cut. Um, let the battle begin. Okay. Uh, I am cut. We are both cut. Battle has definitely begun. Um... If I go there and then, and then, and then and I don't know. Something. Something. Sure, why not? Um Yeah, accidental shapes are accidental. Um, okay. So what do we do now? Tangan is confusing. So many possibilities. Um, sure, maybe. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to end badly. Um, I am playing very fighting moves. And bad things tend to happen when I play aggressive stuff. Um, so if I go here, we're fighting all over again. Sure. Okay. Um, have to extend and not die. So I extend. He extends. Um, <laughs> yeah, I 
I don't know what to do. Everything is all dead. Somehow. Okay, so this group has got to be alive. This connected four that has so much strength can't possibly be dead. This two is probably what he's going after next. Um... Or this too. Yeah, I should probably not ignore that too. Um, if I go here, he might go there. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, crud. Alright, so these two are dead. Oh well. They lived a noble life. They'll be remembered, maybe. If I can remember them. Um. Wait. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, crud. Um. This is bad. This is really bad. I consider there and then like, no, he just goes there and I'm dead. <sighs> I have to remember that chess and go are not the same thing. Um, in go, you can actually just drop stones anywhere on the board. In chess, you have to actually force your way to get through things. Um, yeah, this is bad. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can make something live. Okay. So if I go there, then what? There. Why don't I just start here? Oh. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah, no, I'm super ultra mega dead here. Um. <laughs> Not even miracles can save me now. All of my stones are dead. That's pretty fantastic. Um, okay, so do I have anything halfway reasonable to play here? I don't think so. That's what happens when you just like play attacking moves every move. Um, and you don't build up any influence anywhere. You have just like nothing. That was awesome. Uh, let's need to quickly check on that. Sorry. Do enjoy this position here.
Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Obviously, my attention was a bit divided. Uh, we'll say that my attention was uh, more or less divided as my army are here. Um, yeah. I think we have time for... Oh, I don't even... I'm sorry. I don't even have time for one more game. Um... Yeah, and no, I actually do have to get ready and uh, something, not anything urgent, but something came up and I do have to get that taken care of. Um, yeah. Don't resign, you could have won. I am ultra super pessimistic about this particular position. Um, I mean, I, I played the A4 stone, but yeah. Yeah, I will have to get uh, something taken care of, so uh, we'll have to resume gaming at a later time. Um, in the meantime, there's still always the World Chess Championship match, and there's the uh, Cho Chi Kun uh, Deep Zen match going on, so yeah, Wayne Wait, Wait has some weakness, but I, I mean, yeah, I could start putting stones like H7, H8 and see what happens, but I'm losing this three... I've already lost these two. I've lost the corner. I'm coming close to... Well, I, I did secure some territory here, but I've lost the rest of the board. Um, uh, yeah, I don't believe in Black's ability to do anything here. Anyhow, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll pick this up at a later time. Yeah, have a good one. Oh, these aren't dead. Hmm.